Why is it that there's 50-year-olds with hairlines that look like this and 30-year-olds with hairlines that look like this? Well, it all boils down to the interaction between your hormones and cells. Here's a simplified explanation of a very complex topic. Inside all our bodies are signaling cells that produce hormones called testosterone. For men, these cells can be found in the testes, and for women, they're found in the ovaries. Also, located throughout our bodies are cells called target cells. Target cells have receptors. Testosterone travels from your signaling cell to your target cell through your bloodstream. When it reaches its target cell in your hair follicles and binds to its receptor, it gives the target cell instructions it needs to produce the protein necessary to make a hair strand. This interaction happens between many different hormones and over 40 trillion cells in your body. So in normal circumstances, the flow of hormones your body produces are balanced and are providing your hair follicles and body with what it needs to function properly and thrive. Welcome to a brief introduction of your endocrine system. Alongside many target cells are enzymes called 5-alpha reductase that when needed naturally converts testosterone into its more powerful and potent form called DHT. When your hormones are thrown off balance due to factors such as lack of sleep, excessive alcohol consumption, aging, stress, constantly consuming foods that aren't rich enough in vitamins and minerals, or just an overall unhealthy lifestyle, it can cause a decrease of testosterone in your body. Your body may try to rebalance itself by converting more of your testosterone into its more potent form, DHT, and even increase the amount of receptors a target cell has. For other reasons, it's also possible for your body to produce too much testosterone, which also translates into an increase of DHT. Based on genetics, some people have hair follicles with target cells that are very sensitive to DHT. For those people, DHT causes the hair follicles around the hairline and crown areas of the head to shrink and eventually die. Women tend to experience progressive thinning in the DHT sensitive areas until complete baldness, while men tend to lose their hair quicker and more dramatically. There is a long list of solution options available. Some block the 5-alpha reductase enzyme from your scalp and others prevent DHT from attaching to your target cells in your hair follicle. Everyone's situation is unique, so one solution may not work on someone else. Hair loss is a very sensitive topic because it's a large part of how we define our appearance. So in the early stages of patterned hair loss, most people tend to just be in denial and don't take action until the situation is more advanced. There are more chances of reversing male and female pattern hair loss if it's caught early. You don't have to wait until it's worse before you see a doctor. You can find a really helpful link to a directory of board certified hair restoration doctors by state in the description area below. If you're going through something like this, I hope this video will help you understand why and hopefully prompt you to explore your options and take action before it's too late. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.